One of the guys who used to put on the Howler costume for the Avs, he would love to see that big abominable snowman character make a triumphant return. Last week, our Steve Steger highlighted the rise and fall of Colorado's Bigfoot. Made his debut in 1995 when the Avs moved here from Quebec City. He's the reason that many of the classic Avs jerseys have that footprint, the Yeti footprint on the shoulders. He basically disappeared after the 2001 season. He was replaced with the current mascot, Bernie, in 2009. A lot of fans have pointed to a 1999 incident where Howler got into a physical scuffle with a fan, as that was the reason that he disappeared. Well, today we talked to Mike Vickerman, who is one of the game ops employees who took over the costume after the other employee involved in the scuffle was let go. Mike was with the team when they won the cup in 2001, so he even got a championship ring for us. He tells us he would love to see the Avs bring Howler back in some form or fashion at some point. I think the uniqueness of that mascot with the, you know, the foot on the shoulder and um, it just, it really represents Colorado. Um, I think, uh, I think Bernie's a great mascot. I think it looks great. I just, m my preference is more of a uniqueness of, you know, a big hairy abominable snowman that kids love. And that's, that's what I loved about it. Mike says when people find out that he used to be Howler, he gets asked if he was the one who messed up that fan. But he says, no, 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 that was, that was not him. He was, he was Howler after the physical altercation. After the team got rid of the mascot, Mike ended up doing some other things. He actually uh, went to school for TV and radio broadcasting.